happening, people? What's going on? Let's let this chat build up. <clears throat> God, Josh is dying. Yeah, yeah I think Josh. <coughs> All right, Ben. Beer coffee is the ghost. Yeah. Cool. Right, we'll get into this as soon as we uh, we build this live up. I know a lot of people are probably expecting a live. So, um, yeah. So let's brew up. Can everyone share, everyone smash the like button. Let's get this out. It's time to uh, get down to the uh, the nitty gritty of what's been going on all this time. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> oh, what a stressful like Fucking 48 man. hours this has been. Current. Worst thing you know, you're on a boat. Yeah, I mean, with, with no signal. Yeah. With like zero Wi Fi. Knowing your car's just been absolutely fucking smashed up. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone share. Please everyone smash the like button. <clears throat> How's the day going? Not very well, Sean. Not very well. <laughs> we'll get to that soon. Yeah, 149 in the chat. Real Demon Kitten? Yeah. Remember 31 months? Holy crap. Yeah, madness. Absolute madness. No, it's true about time people found out. I mean, I, no, I agree, Chelsea. It's about time. Yeah. Been a long time coming. A lot of people are scared of him, and I just don't know why. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, the evidence shows he smashes windows and runs off. Well, that's what I mean. That's why. He drives off as well. People street. are scared because they don't want the stuff vandalised, and they're not scared of him. You just don't want the stuff vandalised. Yeah. But... Yeah. So let this build up a little bit more. 176. You got to bear with me a little bit because I'm a bit, a little bit deflated about the whole situation. It's been very stressful, I think, and we've had no sleep neither. We had shit sleep last night on the boat. And um, well, that's up to like. <coughs> I know you do it. You had, you, had you had a nice comfy bed, man. I knock out. Yeah, I want it rock, paper, scissors. I want it fair and square. It's not like I just stole the best yeah, comfy yeah. bed. <laughs> Plus, I had to show you the night before, and now I'm having to show you tonight. Mate, honestly, a straw mattress would have been a lot comfier than that last night. Yeah. There was like no, there was no, there was no bounce to it. The resistance no. was like 100 on this. It was like weird memory foam. Right? So I, I, I don't know if it was just some chronic shit. <laughs> I, I, had, I had some, I fell asleep having like fancies of what I do to. Well, I can't say much, but well, yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, absolutely madness. 208 people in the chat, so let it, let it build. Everyone keep sharing. <clears throat> Smash that like button as well. So everyone get the likes. So we can only see 63 likes in the chat. We've only got 208 people in the chat. You need to send some people around to his house. You know, the funny thing is, he comes, he comes with, I told him once, he was at my door, and I told him once, if you ever brought anything to my doorstep, I'd bring it tenfold to yours. Yeah. And I, it's like he forgets we know where he lives. Yeah, it's, it's like, weird. What, what do you think? You think I'm just going to accept what you're doing? We've been, we're all <laughs> going to accept what you're doing. No, no, it ain't like that, Danny. No, no way. Absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> so I think I think we should go from the from the very the very start of things. I mean, what? Where, where do we go from? Well, this is it. There's, there's so much stuff. But I've, the last time I actually tracked up a live about this whole situation. I ended the live because he was ringing you, threatening to set your cars on fire and shit. Do you remember? And he was like, he said he's going to come around to my house and set my cars on fire if you don't end the live. And obviously, I was just like, I'm going to. Yeah, that was that was when you got your car vandalized. Wasn't yeah, it? that was the that was the last time I got my car vandalized about two years ago. Well, um, prior to this, we he did he admitted, and I've got it on video. I need to sift through all my files and share it to everyone. But he admitted to smashing Mox's vehicle up. Yeah. And the Ghost of Britain vehicle. Yeah. And smash her vehicle as well. Yeah. So we knew he was already doing it. Yeah. And he smashed your vehicle. Yeah. And then Andrew's car got set on fire. Yeah. <clears throat> He's had his well, tires Andrew, slashed. Andrew's car got got a uh, got thingy a few times, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think Andrew's car got found out about five times, I think. Yeah. Yeah, he had, he had his original black car smashed up. Yeah. He had and then he got rid of that, got the white car, had his tires slashed, had, had Bats thrown, like put through the window and all sorts of shit. It's, it's just been absolutely ridiculous. It's just been non stop, relentless bullshit. And uh, the funny thing is, right? So the first time he actually vandalized my car, he was, uh, we was inside a building that he could have come in and add it out one to one, right? But he didn't. Instead, he keyed my car and cut my tires, knowing full well that I'd hear the bangs and come out. So he didn't. So he did it silently because he would have shit himself coming out. So the other night, he's seen that we on a boat. Going to Germany, prime time to come around to Dan's house where my car is parked, or was parked, um, and smash it up. But the thick dickhead didn't realise that the cam the house is cameraed out to fuck. Even down the street has got cameras. Not only that, he returned a few hours later 
which Dan's brother has just basically filmed him driving into the street in his van that he has on YouTube. He's done videos on his van. I post it all on Instagram. You can see it on my socials. But the funny thing is on Friday, the 13th, we did the Screen Fest event. And basically, Andrew came in my car. We drove down. Dan, you drove down as well with Josh. And he was lurking around the house in the same van, which is the one in the YouTube videos, which obviously today it's the same one that's appeared miraculously on the Instagram account. That is right. Do you know what I mean? So what, like, what we decided... It's just fucked. We decided to play it smart. So he was lurking around Friday the 13th. He sent messages to Josh and to Andrew saying, uh, nice, fo nice focus ST uh, hidden behind the Range Rover. No one bit. We're like, oh, Danny, shut the fuck up. He'd made a fake account. I then checked the cameras, managed to get him on camera driving on and off the street in his van. So there you go. We, we remained silent. We thought, right, well, hang tight. Carl's car got smashed up last night. We thought, you know what? Let's just sit tight a little longer. Because no one said anything online. Danny probably thought, oh, well, we don't even know I've smashed it up. Yeah. He obviously not said anything. So he's drove back on my street where my brother was cleaning the glass out of, because forensics has already been, he cleaned the glass out of Carl's car. James looked up, saw Felicity in the, in the, in the fucking passenger seat, ducked down, they've got the baby with them, right, which they shouldn't be in charge of, they should never be in care of a kid, we'll get to that afterwards. And Danny had to go to the bottom, because they had to turn around and come back up where my brother confronted him, like, with the camera, he just drove straight off. Then he posted, I sent him a threatening message, I was like, I'm taking your head off, bro, when I get back, I say, I'm, I say, enough's enough, you know, this has been going on for three years, been threatened, we've had cars damaged, it's a constant thing, he's driving around my house, my family is, I ain't gonna stand for that. He then posted it on Instagram, trying to play the victim like he always does, um, saying that, you know, I threatened him to kill him and stuff, yeah, damn right I have. Um, but he's also like, oh, Dan, Dan invited me around for a coffee this morning, <laughs> And now I've got all these people running at me with cameras. Like, is the guy living in cuckoo land? Everyone's been posting vi videos on Instagram saying we're in Germany. I've been announcing it for the past God knows how many weeks <laughs> we're going to be in Germany straight after the screen fest. The guy's an idiot. He's deleted it since because he's realised how stupid he is. And uh, now he's going to have to deal with the consequences because not only are the police after him, but there's a hell of a lot of people now looking for him. A lot of people looking for him. Yeah. A lot of people, more people that I can't even control it. I can't control the situation now. Everyone knows what a piece of shit he is. Everyone knows what a baby animal killer he is and they're going for him. Yeah. They are going <clears throat> for him. Yeah. He's gonna have to he's gonna have to leave. He's gonna have to leave town. Yeah, this it's been honestly this has been going on for so long. We've kept quiet about it with you know, because of the threats. You know, it's just like cars getting smashed up all the time and shit like because that's all he does. He, 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 he won't he won't actually come and physically do anything face to face. He hides, he runs away. You know, we've seen him in the van today, just driving off full speed, and it's just like you know, your brother's just not on on his own at that point confronting yeah, him. He wouldn't even <laughs> stop. He, he wouldn't even stop to to you know, my brother's trying to confront him. He wouldn't even stop. He's that much of a bitch. He just Stopped. drives off. And the funny thing is, it's like, it's like all the threats he's made online. Oh, if I see you, I'll smash you, I'll do this, I'll do that. The guy's a coward, an absolute coward. It's absolute madness. Absolute madness. I can see. It. Next one, Harley dropping down. Thank you so, so much for the donation. It's said, supporting me highly. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, super generous. Thanks, man. Here is a little something to help with the repairs. I, I feel help has been so, uh, so far, but it's the latest. Uh, it's the least I can do. Uh, much love to both of you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, mate. Well, super, good super over in Canada, bro. Super appreciate it. But the thing, thing is, this is, you know, repairs, you know what I mean? It ain't exactly, like, cheap. Like, I had to go through the insurance last time we vandalised my car, so my premiums went through the roof. And obviously, the cost of the living crisis and insurance going up and shit like that so now i can't go for the insurance Yo, because my premium is going to be absolutely our destroyed. boy valley man's in the house Yo, shout, valley man. shout out to adam yeah good, good friend of ours yeah man but yeah it's just fucked it's just more wasted money going into repair my window and uh, my front windscreen uh my passenger front left passenger my rear uh, left left passenger window my wing mirror that i decided to try and smash off as well and it's just like what what the fuck in it and it's the fact he come back, the audacity to, to stalk the house and come back to show off to his fucking stupid girlfriend. Oh, look what I did. Yeah, I smashed some windows. Fucking one-to-one, -one, mate. Yeah, one-to-one. -one. You fucking pussy. I know you're fucking watching right now, you cunt. And I will fuck you up. That's all I'm saying. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people in the fan base around our ways, yeah, 
who are going to be dealing some so you're going to see us soon when we get on that fucking boat back to the uk you clown yeah well, we'll, we'll see what happens yeah the, the guy's going to be running but the, the funny thing is he's using he's using his mate bobby right to drive him around but wait wait a minute do you want you saying that bobby had hey, yeah I, he was bowel he was, cancer he was, he, was not, he was taking the piss out of bobby he was he was like saying that he's shitting himself and he was like laughing i shouldn't laugh but it is funny he's laughing about his mate who had some kind of illness and not sure what it was and he was shitting himself yeah. and, he was, and he was like laughing about it it was when me and josh took him out for a, for a steak because we, we were trying to defuse the situation because he had another one of these episodes where he blew up and we we're like come on let's me and josh was like let's go and sort it out with him so you know we can yeah he's not going to blow up and that's how it's been for the past four or five years it's yeah. constantly like keeping on a loop and yeah. that's the point where i was like that's it i'm done i can't yeah. i can't handle this anymore yeah fuck this guy yeah Yep, hundred percent. It's just been non non-stop carnage, like all the time. He's just like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And if you if you if you can't like keep him happy, he'll be like, oh, I'm gonna come and smash your car. So, I mean, f- fucking hell, when my car originally got vandalized, he went to that location the day before, but seeing me commenting on someone else's Facebook about us going to that location because it was haunted, and then he turned up, keyed my car, slashed my tires. He was like, I had no idea, car was a. Uh... But he'd liked, he'd love hearted one of Luca's comments yeah. saying that they were going there tonight. So he knew full well you were yeah, going to yeah, be there. Yeah. The guys are stupid. But the funny thing is, obviously, it must have been about half an hour after he, he did it, we discovered it, we came onto the car and he was posting old live streams on his yeah, stuff yeah. as if he was live. And it's yeah. just like, are you, are, you that, <laughs> are you that thick? Are you honestly that thick? I mean, the good thing we've got is our, our intelligence far exceeds Danny's. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. It far outweighs Danny's. Danny's about as intelligent as a chimp. Yeah. Right? So that's why we, we, we're in favour. That's why we're at the stage now where he's about to be arrested. He's about to be charged. And, uh, and thank fuck. And if anyone has ever had any issues, DM us. DM yeah. us. It'll all go straight into the case. If you've ever had threats off him, messages send them over we'd love to see him and hand them in as well yeah it's it's, it's all coming out it, all of it is, is is literally coming out that's what i mean a lot of people are scared of him yeah, why? i just don't understand because yeah because he threatens everyone constantly threatening people he's always got a weapon in his hand and he's like i'll do this and do that and it's yeah. like but having live <clears> streams <throat> going mad being racist yeah well Indians. if you guys are not following my instagram check out dark house tv yt on instagram you'll see all the posts all the carnage the cctv footage you know, we catch it from all angles. The thing is, we had a ring doorbell on the car. Yeah. And it's just like it. notified straight away. It's like, oh, Danny's, Danny's now it. smashing up my car. But uh, the, I'd, I'd, love, I'd actually enjoy him to go back to my house because yeah. now we know he's prowling around a lot. There's a lot of people hanging around my house now. Yeah. Up and down, up and down the street. A lot of people that he doesn't want to bump into, believe me. I just find it funny how he's... Po- he's He's posting videos on, on his channel. Shit, that's dead channel it bought. 200,000 subscribers and, and claimed to overtake me. Ah, he got it deleted. Oh, really? Deleted? Yeah. Did yeah. Because he's unstable. He deleted his channel that many times. YouTube was like, nah, Fuck you're having it back now. So that's why he took over <laughs> Felicity's channel. And that's soon to be gone. Jesus Christ. Yeah, make sure of it. We're, yeah. we're currently emailing our partner managers at YouTube, sending all the clips of him being racist and stuff. So that channel will be gone within like 48 hours, I get it. I get it. But yeah, you can see on my, on my Instagram, you can see on Dan's Instagram, we posted pictures of his van, which correlates to the one in his YouTube videos and in his thumbnails, which he's probably deleted now. I think he did actually delete that video, I'm not too sure, but we've got screenshots of that anyway. And then we've got video evidence of uh, James, the forgotten past, capturing it today and driving in and out street. It's fucking hell, man. What a weapon. What the fuck? He doesn't, he, he, honestly, I'm surprised his child's still alive. So there's a lot of, yeah. a lot of crazy stuff that no one knows about. And the reason why we stopped hanging around with him is because of the amount of animals that had died in his care and children that had either died or gone missing. Yeah. And when I outed him on a live stream where I was going for a cancer scare, he was he was making fake accounts about me. I was just like, you know, I can't take it anymore. I outed him. And after that live stream, his ex-partner from like a decade ago messaged me and was like, I used to be with, with Danny. I've got two boys with him. We had to run away because you were beating us all up constantly. There's, um, if you apply for a closed law through the police, you can get all the domestic violence cases where he used to he beat his child, children up. Well, his real name's Daniel Adams, isn't it? No, I think his mum's name's Adams. Then, when we first met Danny, Felicity was heavily pregnant. And we, then about yeah. fast forward eight months, we went on a road trip down south, didn't we, to Andrew's, yeah, yeah. Andrew's mum's <clears> dad's house. 
we got down there. I was like, oh, Danny, how's your, how's your kid? He was like, oh, he's dead. Mm. I was like, what? Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's dead. I was like, well, what do you mean? Fucking hell. He's like, oh, he uh, died of brain hemorrhage. Uh, I was like, what, at your house? He's like, no, no, he was staying with um, with Felicity's mum. Now, Felicity's mum had already had been charged for murder yeah, and then yeah. let off because Felicity's sister is in prison for murder right now for, for murdering her sister, uh, her, her girlfriend. If you look up Becky Reed, there's a big case where it was on Netflix. Yeah, uh, women who Netflix. killed. <clears throat> yeah, and and the only reason why Felicity's mum got away with murder is because her, uh, Felicity's sister took the rap for it fully. Now this baby went into curve with Felicity's mum and had died of a brain hemorrhage. Then Felicity became pregnant again, and about four months after they gave birth, I was like, How, "How's the baby?" Oh no, I don't have it. I was like, "What do you mean, don't have it?" He was like, oh, no. Uh, um, and he, I could see him like trying to come up with... Felicity was a, a, a surrogate for a sister. Oh, no, for a cousin. Felicity was a, a surrogate for a cousin. I was like, right. And he's like, like I always say, I'm, I'm just a sperm donor. I don't care. Because that's what he said about his baby died. I was like, you're right. He's like, I don't, I don't care. I'm just a sperm donor, donor. And now they've got this child. And, you know, I've got screenshots from every post. When, when me and him was okay... Every post he put on Facebook of him and that kid, I saved because all the other ones he's deleted, all, all the other kids, all gone, vanished, all the posts. So I've got these <clears> in <throat> case this child goes missing too. It's just fucking mental, the fact that he's, he's obviously turned up, where, either with Felicity and his kid, the other night smashing my car up. Last night, should I say, I keep, I keep saying the other day, but literally it was like a few hours ago. And obviously coming around today with Felicity and the kid again, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, what's that kid going through? Well, that kid... Don't forget, he was dragging that kid out while he was trying to do staged videos at the Nicola Bully thing. Because the first video he ever oh, put the up Nicola was thing. body found, and it was that Nicola Bully, Bully, Bully case. Yeah. And he was taking the kid out every night, and the the social services got involved and and nearly took the kid off him when he got arrested. So yeah, he, he, he actually got charged for yeah, he got charged for, for, for pissing around with the yeah, interference, interference with the crime scene because he was trying to plant fake stuff there so that he could look like the hero. Yeah. Yeah, proper this, this is this is the, the shit we've had to deal and with. And then all the animals were oh, killed. The animals, yeah. So, so you might if you followed Danny in the past, the amount of animals he's found on videos like cats and dogs. He wants to be like us, and he wants to be like me in the in the fact that I found fudge. You know, yeah. Still got fudge. Fudge is happy and healthy as ever. He's found kittens and cats, dogs, all kinds of stuff, and they've all ended up either dead, dead or he's just given them away like he's bought he's took them got them off pre-loved and then just give them away when he's finished his video he got a, a, a small dog he took a shit mm. in his kitchen he told me he punched it in the head and he started doing circles yeah, in the middle of the room until it collapsed and died that was that was when we distant that was like yeah, we're not, we're not, final we're not cool anymore distance ourselves before that his dad gave him a dog i think it was a rockweiler it was about seven years old or something what about christmas time wasn't it? yeah he didn't he didn't want it in the house shitting in the kitchen so he left it outside it froze to death and he buried it in the back garden. The the guy is a psychopath. The amount of animals he's killed, no one should ever follow that guy again. People should if you're watching this right now and you're an animal lover reporting to the RSPCA, reporting to everything, yeah. Make make them do investigations. I threatened him threatened him purposely today because I kind of hope he tried and tries to twist it around and get him in trouble because I would love to stand in court and show all this evidence, show yeah. the reason why it's come to this. He would not want that happening, no. trust me. No. It's just absolute madness. I just want to shout Charlene as well uh, for donating. Thank you so much. Saying say the word that I'm on the train from Scotland. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Some brave out business going on right now. There's so many people who, who want his head now. Now they know what he's like, what he's done to, to kids and what he's done to animals. He, he's got nowhere left to run. Yeah. Right now. Uh, Deirdre as well, thank you so, so much for the oh, donation. Deirdre. Super, super appreciate it. Hope you're well. Hope Honestly, you're well, Deirdre. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. It's just... It, it it's just a piss day because obviously you know it's it's just it's not expenses it is you know what I mean and it's just got this dickhead running around smashing cars up I mean he's he's trashed um, Moxley's car he trashed Ghost the Britain car who else is he's done he, he's um, done loads there was, there was some others I don't know who they were yeah yeah uh, the, the main ones that we knew about were Moxley Ghost of Britain obviously yours and Andrew's car yeah yeah but, but I always told him you ever do anything to my stuff. I promise you, I'll, I'll come for you. Yeah. And he's never done anything. He's never touched it because he's, I mean, he's obviously scared of me. Yeah. He's waited till we got on the ferry before he's come down to my house. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's, he's, do you know what I mean? He'd be stupid enough to turn back up again now. I mean, the fucking police on it. There's cameras everywhere. There's bear heads going to be surrounding 
Dan's proper insult, so obviously we get back and shit anyway. So it's just, yeah, you know, we've got we've got massive support at this point, this point in time. But it's just despite the point, we want to get on as a crew, make videos so what you guys all enjoy, and we just don't want to be harassed. We don't want to fucking have our cars vandalized. You know, all this bullshit just for this guy who's a wannabe failed YouTuber, who bought all his subscribers, bought his views, and all the rest of it. It's just it. It's shocking. For everyone asking, yeah, the police are heavily involved. I've actually been around to his house today to arrest him, but he's nowhere to be found. He's hiding. He's not. His van's not there and stuff, so yeah. he's in hiding at the moment. But they'll catch up with him soon. He's probably sat there now watching this. Yeah. Hang yourself in, Danny. Yeah. You might as well. You might as over with. You might as well, man. See what I mean? We've got enough evidence now. And the funny thing is, I've still got my case open from... Um, it's, you know, it's actually funny because, obviously, when, when my car first got vandalised the, the other year, so... They told me nothing could be done because I've got no CCTV or anything like that, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, the, I was like, fucking kidding me. You know, I know, I know it's him. I've got, I've got proof in other means, save is there, but not direct proof. Anyway, the copy rang me back up and said, we're going to leave this case open because we've done our uh, background digging and he's not a na nice person. So he said, any more problems? You know, you've got, you've got the case number there and stuff like that. So obviously that case is still ongoing, which is going to correlate with your case, yeah. this, my new case with the car. This new case again that's just been opened last night, and obviously it'll, get, it'll go down. Andrew, for it. yeah, he's got yeah. previous. So he'll, he'll probably get like maybe nine months. Yeah, but yeah, he'll still. Be I mean, they've actually got a fucking filing cabinet on this guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he must be just stacked I mean, up. Not, with not shit. to mention that the skull that he stole from fucking Wales and planted it in the nearby where near where he lives, and then yeah, and and the, the police raided him and took all his equipment for months. Because he, they knew what he'd done with his truck. And then fucking blame me for it. Yeah. Yeah, but blame me. He said he's going to do this. He's going to offer me out. Well, he was offering me out for a bare knuckle, apparently, on, on, on YouTube and things oh, like that. Just him. all this chronic shit. And it's just like, what are you on about? What are you talking about? You don't have a fucking clue. You don't even know you're born, mate. And you know what the saddest thing is? And it really does my head in, right? What annoys me is the fact that people in this world cannot have kids genetically or just general problems and you've got people like him having kids like it's fucking nothing do you know what i mean getting pregnant like it's fucking minor and he does my nothing shit bags on this earth i can't stand it it does my nothing i just want to shout kate as well thank you so much for dropping it down uh i've got my rock port if needed oh and six when you already know that some rock port there's not some rock ports. Ports. yeah yeah some rock ports man going back <laughs> i'm solving sick shit uh, we've got Wax dropping it down. Thank you so much for the support. Honestly, it, me it means a lot, guys, honestly. Anything else at this point in time, because, like, it's it's, oh, it's just a fucking joke, man. Right? Oh, it's a joke. It's just it's just expenses now that could have been dumped into the channel making more crazy content. Now, because I can't go for the insurance because my premium's already chronic, you know, it's just, it, oh, it's just fucked. Yeah, well, the good thing is, he's getting arrested and he'll have to pay yeah. repercussion. He'll have to pay... You have to pay compensation. Yeah. Know, well, so, um, that's the good thing. It's like, how does he not know there was cameras there? It's like, I don't know. You mean, what, he walked past the ring like, doorbell I was on the roof of my there's car. There's 13 cameras around the house. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I even got the car speeding off. They used Bobby's yeah. car. Yeah. So, yeah, Bobby uh, wouldn't be fucking around with Danny if I were you. Yeah. Especially after recalling this shit when you were going through your illness. Mm hmm. Yeah, how, else, how else would I have known about that? Well, well it was just there, innit? Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's just it's just absolute madness. But it, I just knew it. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Because I said to you, I said, do I, do I leave it elsewhere? And you were like, nah, nah. Do you know what I mean? We've got cameras all over the house. But he's that thick. He didn't realise that there was cameras all over the house and not just the fucking front. I, know. I mean, your camera's like Fort Knox. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? All for Danny. Oh, yeah, all, all, all for Danny. All there for Danny. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's, it's not as if it's just been put up for just like, oh, I'm going to buy some cameras because why not? It's literally because it's been an ongoing thing been going on and on and on and on and on and on and on it's not just us it's not just us it's other people but the other people who have had their cars vandalized too scared to to, to speak yeah. out do you know what i mean because what I mean, if, if anyone's ever had damage off him or, or threats yeah drop, drop us a message yeah hit us up because literally, literally i'm dumping all the shit you can see it on the instagram you see it on dan's instagram we're dumping everything like we're going in like we're just exposing this fucking dump this piece of shit that exists in our lifetime yeah it's all yeah, coming out. And with the, with the original footage, it's much more clear and you can zoom in. You can actually see 
this part of his face. Yeah. So and the same in the van when he was driving off, you can see his face clear as anything. It's that's funny. Why, that's why the police are going for him. It's funny as well because at one one point he goes to touch his face and because he's because he's like that fat because he's injected himself with bare, bare steroids and water. He's, he, like, he, he like goes to touch his face, so his, his sleeve comes down and you can see his, you can see his tattoo. arm. His tattoo on his arm. Positive identification, mate. It's not like that, it's his walk. He's got his, yeah, like, he's got his thumpy walk as he walks towards the car. You know what I mean? And like, not like walk anywhere, you can see it clear as day. Like top heavy as fuck, It's, you know what it's mean? like all the videos I've got of <laughs> us exploring, it's identical. In fact, I'm going to do one afterwards. I'll do an identical match where I'll, I'll, I'll put that walk with a walk that on yeah. one of my videos. You'll see it. It's him. <laughs> it's and, and if you guys, if you, if you end up going through his videos and shit like that, and you and you find like stuff that you can match up with the stuff I posted, like for example, the walk, anything that correlates with the with the evidence we've posted on Instagram, just please hit me up because we we need everything we've got at this point in time to get this piece of shit put away once and for all. And don't forget to report his account. Yeah, report his YouTube account, his his, his Instagram account as well. This guy needs to go. He's not an entertainer. He's a fog. He's an absolute fog. Oh, we've, got, we've, got, we've got Josh snoring, doing some snores right here. Uh, we've got Kate Clinton dropping down. Thank you so, so much. Saying, love your videos, Carl. Um, just the shit. Yeah. Thank you so much, honestly. It's super, 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 super appreciate you. Have, you have no idea. And I, do you know what I mean? It's just like, we've said this time and time again. We don't do drama. We have long gone the drama. You know, it's not 2015, 2016 when, you know, it was all new to us and we had little dickheads causing problems and, and things like that, and rivalry, and what, all that garbage. We don't do it. We don't like to do this. But we have to do this to, you know, let people know the shit we're going through. And obviously this piece of shit that exists, and he's about on YouTube. I just don't understand. Even when contacting YouTube, like, through through customers of sports, I can't do nothing at this point in time. But obviously, you know, a partner manager, oh, yeah, it's you know, it's, 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 all, it's all coming out. We need to get him gone. The police need to really... Do this. You know, you know what the funny thing is? We, we've got this massive backlog of all this police shit. Obviously, with the existing stuff that he's got from other crimes that's not related to us. You know, <clears throat> the police haven't done anything just yet. He's had his house raided multiple times. Oh, so many times. So because many times. That's the thing, the police, because the police have never been quite able to do him, they're, they're just looking for that smoking gun so they can get yeah. him. They'll do anything to get him, yeah. which is great news for us. Yeah. So, yeah. So, he's, he's obviously... Hide, hiding out somewhere hiding. now so yeah if you you'll see his registration plate as well on um <clears throat> on my on my instagram you'll see it on dan's as well if you do see him about around blackburn darwin way just anyway around, around lancashire do hit us up obviously ring the police as well and just 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 say just yeah. just get just getting reported even even if it's a month from now if you see his car just message me where it is yeah you know yeah be nice to know where he is yeah so it's it's, it's great uh, he's gonna experience what it's like to be on the other end of this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? After everything he's done, he's now on the receiving end. Where yeah. we've been on the receiving end for the past four years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy your meal, sir. It's because it rings a bit. But um, yeah, it's just it's just fuck. We've had to deal with this shit. We're in Germany. We're trying to enjoy ourselves. We're trying to focus on making the maddest content up to date because it, it's always a mad well. Time. It would have been great. We head back tonight. Yeah. Ferries at half past eight. So. Yeah. I'll be, back, I'll be back in the UK tomorrow, and then that's when... We're going to sort shit out. Yeah, that's when something <clears throat> else starts to happen. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Got Hilfie dropping it down. Thank you so much, saying, uh, so, uh, so you're both having bother. Keep strong. Uh, Paul from Screenfest. Oh, thank you so much, man. And it was a pleasure meeting you as well. Yo, what's up, Paul? Thank you so much for the support, honestly. It's, it's, it's going to help out massively. It's just annoying the fact that we just spent so much coming over here. This has happened. I've got to go on now. Mm spend more fucking money that could have gone into you know this trip new trips new videos everything do you know what i mean it's just it's just a nightmare it really is but that's his that's his game plan that's his game plan he's trying to trying to destroy the morale he feels like you know teddy's in the corner we're being he's been left out yeah, how exactly. many times has he stalked us doing random article videos i know God. like like turning up randomly and going all right guys can't see seeing you here yeah he used to hang out at the shell garage waiting on purpose, hopefully to spot us then he's always doing it at the Tesco's garage, so he thought he'd hang around there, and then he eventually spotted us. Weirdo. Fucking madness. Proper weirdo. Yeah, I have, you know, I've, had, I've had crazy girlfriends in the past. So I've, had, I've had crazy stalker oh, girlfriends oh, in oh, the oh, past. Oh, you not <laughs> to mention the fact, oh, I mean, yeah, I'm, 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 not, I'm not holds at the moment. So once he turned around to me in front of all these, and he was like, 
Yeah, I tell Fuss to, to imagine it's oh, you when I'm yeah. having sex, when I'm behind her. I was like, I was like, I thought he was joking. I was like, all right, yeah, whatever. He's like, no, I do. It's just a laugh, though, isn't it? I was like, what? So you actually tell Fuss to, to pretend that I'm having sex with her, like I'm you. He's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? What the hell? Yeah, yeah this is this is facts. He told a bunch of us, and he thought it was hilarious. He thought it was normal. Well, the first time I met Josh, he said the same thing, didn't he? Yeah, he wanted Josh to have sex with his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? This, this is, this is the, this is what we have to deal with. Do you know what I mean? But, but do you know what I mean? Is that something needs to happen now because you know it's, it's tick for tack. Someone's gonna end up getting killed at this Holy point. Holy shit, text. Yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, text. Drop it down. Thank you so, so much. Super, super appreciate the support, man. Honestly, here's some to help out. Stay safe and be smart with the whole situation. Yeah, hundred percent. We will do. Well, thank you so much. That's gonna help me out massively. Yeah, no, that's really appreciated. Help me out, Master. Honestly, thank you so much. Proving Divas, drop it down. Thank you so much, brother. Andrew! Yeah. Just can't just can't have a catch a break, can we, boys? No. I mean, fucking hell. Andrew. <coughs> Andrew. I think Andrew's suffered the most damage out of yeah. out of all of us. I mean, he's had his black car smashed the bits. The tire white car, slashed. The white car had a tire pop because Andrew had to come around for mine because he had a, it looked like a bat, but it was like a long, like, bat had gone through yeah. the back window. He came around to mine and his tire his tires had been popped, but luckily I managed to like sort them out for a bit and he kinda of got new ones put on. Yeah. And then it how long it wasn't long after that and he put his car set on fire. Yeah. And he had Danny in his ear constantly going, It's Danny, it's Danny yeah, trying to manipulate. Yeah, so so there was all that as well. Obviously D- Danny trying to spin stuff and obviously you you know, um Andrew was going through a bit of a rough patch at the time and stuff like that. Um and I don't know what happened, but just managed to talk so much shit that almost convinced Andrew into into thinking that it was Dan who did no, it. He did. he did, he convinced, oh, yeah, we, yeah. convinced Andrew that it was me. I mean, and Andrew's I, in, a, in a shit place at the point, that yeah, point of course. in time. And that's why me and Andrew are friends now, because then it's, it wasn't Andrew's fault in the slightest. Yeah. It was it was Danny's manipulation tactics. And, yeah. and then the and it, was all, it was all to turn each other against yeah, each other. It, it was the fact it was like, a, you know, such a traumatic event. You, you know, you don't know how you're going to react in that kind of situation, you yeah. know, PTSD and all that. But yeah, he, he, Danny's always been about trying to split up the team. Always. Yeah. And then when he sees the team together, like he did at Screenfest, dummies out, spit it out. Well, that's, you know? that's, oh, well, I want to need attention too. Well, that's that's what happened. Obviously, Andrew had posted, he, he was in my car driving down to Screenfest, and it's just like, oh, fucking hell, do you know what I mean? So obviously, watched Andrew's story on mine, and he's, he's freaked the fuck out. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's come to Dan's house fucking stalking. It's just like, it's, it's absolutely mental. Uh, Katie, thank you so much for dropping down. Super, super appreciated. And uh, cheers, cheers for uh, the support and stuff as well. It means a lot, I say. Um, I just want to say as well, thank you so much for everyone who's hitting up on Instagram as well. And also Dan as well, because it's not, it's, not it's not just me. It's Dan as well, you know. His family's have to go through it. You're like, your, your mum and dad's on top of it. Yeah, well, yeah. I've got my mum, dad, my brother. They're staying there. I think David, his missus, is going up to the house. Yeah. I've got all my biker friends all driving around. I've got I've got everyone on high alert. Yeah. So you know what I mean. We've uh, we 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 got some serious serious awesome support. Um. Cause it, yeah, we're just trying to get on with our lives, isn't it? We want to make you guys awesome videos that you can watch, and and enjoy. You know you know it's you know what's fascinating, and it, you know what, it actually got to me on the way back from Screen Fest the other night. Actually, um, the amount of people that that we met. And said, you know, you've got you got me through such a hard time. Yeah. You know, you've got me through cancer. You got me through COVID. Um, I suffer from PTSD. I suffer from you know, like self harm or whatever it may be. The you know, illnesses and things like that. And they said, you know what, you've saved my life. And that really, I don't know what it was, but well, I do know what it was. It it really, really, really affected me. Um, you know, and I, I had a bit of a cry to myself on on the way back home. To be honest with you, because it's just like. Obviously, we don't really see it. The impact the videos do yeah. have on on people, you know, you guys who are watching, we we do, we don't we just create videos, you know, because we enjoy it, and obviously we see the responses from you guys loving the videos. But you know, to be personally said, like you know, you've helped me out, you've saved my life, you've done this, that, blah blah. blah. It's just like you know, it's it's a massive thing to us. It's a massive thing. That's why we're still going. Well, after this is it. This, after all this shit, we're still going after. You know, risking our lives numerous times to still yeah. going. You know, I, I feel like it's going to be, you know, like exploring the Zimmer frames at this point. You know, <laughs> to you. But, but the thing is, is we love it because, you know, it gives us pleasure knowing that, you know, we've got people through it. Yeah. Through COVID was the biggest one. Yeah. Wasn't it? 
Like yeah. I was saying, like, they used to watch our random Nautica videos and it used to just get them away from all the COVID bullshit. Yeah. It used to get them out of that, that loop and it was just like a getaway, you know. You got to laugh at us, you know, having crazy experiences and stuff. And yeah. You know, it was, you know, it was great fun to, to do as well. I mean, the, the thing is as well, it's like, you know, this is our escape as well. You know, because we, we, all, we all have our own lives. We're not just, you know, YouTubers and you just see us and it's like, we're just... We just exist on YouTube. We, we we're just like you guys. I'm normal Dan. Yeah, I've done for seven years. I'm normal car police. Yeah. <laughs> normal guy. It's like when people meet us and they're like, you guys are just so normal. Like, yeah, we're just yeah, it's just all like... the same guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's just it's just mad, absolutely madness that we have to put up with this bullshit. You know, it's just uh, I can't wait to get on. Yeah, so it's, it's just shit, man. It's just really shit. You know, I was I was I was looking forward to eating a schnitzel burger. I was, right, looking for a, I was looking forward to a big German sausage <laughs> and looking like I'm not going to get one now. <laughs> I'm talking about the, the, the um, bratwurst, by the way, guys. <laughs> I know you, you take mine. Do you know what's funny? I had an email address like MSN days and it was my German sausage. Oh, no. Yeah, my German sausage. Do you know what my first com? email address was? Huh. It was me and my mate and we used to have, um, we used to go on AOL chat rooms when we were like 11 and our email address was two hot sexy boys. <laughs> 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 oh shit that's ridiculous <laughs> um, I just want to shout out Exploring with Kim and Dan thank you so much uh, if he put half as much energy into his own life he wouldn't have to try and destroy anyone else to make himself feel good what a scumbag stay safe thank you so so much it's honestly it's, it's super appreciated for the support but yeah you are you are right I, it's, it's just like you see people gossiping all the time it's like have you seen this have you heard this have you blah 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 have you... it's just like if you had something that you could put energy into and enjoy or whatever it may be then you wouldn't be giving a fuck about you know who's arguing in the street with with fucking brenda down the road at number six you know what i'm saying and shit like that it's like it's one of my heart who said both of you guys helped me through uh tough times but look where i am today i'm a new man you know stuff like that. that's the reason why we do it and yeah. now we're friends with harley yeah that's we're, the that's the maddest thing yeah we're friends with him. I, I did a really good podcast with him yeah i was on his channel doing a, like an interview thing with yeah him. no no harley's cool as fuck yeah, like no. uh, shout out to harley man seriously we need to meet up at some point and we was actually close to meeting it was actually in portugal and uh harley was doing um uh was it an old druid correct me if i'm wrong man uh, an old druid walk i think it was and he's oh, like yeah. walking like hundreds of miles and stuff but <laughs> i think he ended up injuring himself and had to go yeah. home and stuff but yeah yeah we was close to meeting but um, yeah, big shout, Harley. Uh, Sammy Truman dropping down. Thank you so so much. Saying sorry, uh, so you were going. Th- uh, what's wrong with me? Sorry, you are going through um, this, Sammy from Screenfest. Yeah, thank you. Honestly, thank you so much. It's just, it's just carnage. It's just nonstop carnage. Uh, Kate Clinton as well. Thank you so much for dropping it down. Super, super appreciate it for the support, guys. Honestly. Um, so yeah, I can see Harley says uh, uh, pilgrimage. That's it through through Portugal. Yeah. But yeah, mad. We was close to meeting, but. Oh man, I don't know. I need, I need, I need, a, I need a fucking water. No, bro. we don't have any drink. We don't have no dr- good drinks. It's like twenty five fucking degrees. Yeah. I was looking forward to going to the the shopping and like a lot of German treats and doing a video. In yeah. fact, I probably still could. I'll, I'll pick up a load and then we'll do it. We'll do it on the boat. Yeah. Okay, at least I can get one video done. Yeah, German, well, German snacks. No yeah, German snacks. German snacks. Man, fuck. Shit. It's just shit as well. So it just ain't slept. And you know the, the annoying thing was last night as well is the fact that we had no no well we was using Wi Fi. Yeah, so the fu- the funny thing is right we fucked up bad right because we didn't realize that the boat doesn't just do like a, a straight straight cross over from from where we went from Hull straight across to Rotterdam. It travelled down all the way the coastline to, to Norwich then crossed over. So all that time we had fucking fortune. <laughs> and it was like three months like. Yo man, got 4G, and so I went on went on maps, realized we're just hugging the coastline all the way down and then and then cutting across the the So that's why we're actually gonna drive to France tonight, get the ferry from from France to Dover, because we're gonna be home in half the time. Yeah. Absolutely mental. I just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Josh agrees. Yeah. I agree on the way we said. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, it... <laughs> We fucked up big time. We were like freaking out. It's like, nah, nah, nah. But I knew I knew it. I knew my car was going to get smashed. I just knew it. Because he's that type of guy. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? It's just annoying. Uh, big shout to Sonia. Thank you so, so much for the donation. Honestly, super appreciated. And Jeanette as well. Thank you so much for the donation. Seriously, it's it's 
it's massive, massively appreciated. You have you have no idea, guys. Honestly, if, if he was all here now, I'd just give you a, a big giant hug and I'll be crying to you guys. Sean. Anyway, it's another time. But <laughs> it's just shit, shit times. But you know, this is this is the intentions of the guy who wants to destroy people's morale all the time. I mean, fucking hell, I I, I felt really bad for for Andrew when it was constantly happening, 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 the week in, week in, all all the time. And then obviously. You know, he, I think he was live at the time. His 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 car got petrol bombed. And the funny thing is, th- this is this is this is how we hundred percent know it was uh, Danny as well because he explained three weeks before how like he wouldn't smash windows or cut tires. It 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 his words blow your car sky high. Well, he and turned then, up, didn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. turned up unannounced at Andrew's house on his live stream and came in. And he was like, he was like, yeah. Um, Dan said that I was a suspect in the car in the car fire. Yeah. No, so, sorry, in, the, in yeah. the car smashing. Yeah. Because he smashed the car got smashed, and he was like, "No, I wouldn't do that. I would just I'd pour petrol down the vent and then set it on fire that way." Warm bill. Exactly what happened. Three weeks later, we you know go to my Instagram. You'll you'll see the pictures. Follow the stories. Check out Forgotten Past as well. You'll see this shit on there. And obviously Dan's yeah, stuff. Check on mine. I posted a lot of stuff as well. Yeah, we, I've been rooting through all my phone because we got backlogs of shit. And then and then. You, you know, just just do it, explain how he'd blow, blow cars up and obviously look what Ant- happened to Andrew's car, the pictures on the Instagram, you'll see it's all burnt out in the engine. So far, I've had 7,745 views on my stories. Yeah, mine's so fucking it's getting fucking out there now. Yeah, yeah. Big shout to everyone who's sharing and uh, supporting as well. Honestly, it means a lot, seriously. I can see uh, Jacqueline Morris dropping it down. Thank you so much, saying you always have, have my support. Stay safe. There's always one fool. But trust in the universe. Bless up, lads. Thank you so much for your support. Honestly, it's really, really appreciated. Seriously, but yeah, trust, trust in, trust in divine timing. And I think because we was all sat about last night, and we was like, because we just got told, obviously, you know, the car was getting smashed up or whatever, and we was like, fuck, you know. And then we realised we were looking at the camera footage, and we're seeing it on three different cameras from all different angles, which he didn't even see. And it was like, right, okay, we can tell by his walk. He's just he exposed his tattoo. Um, at first we thought he left blood on the window as well because our forensics have been round and they've been t- taking samples of things and, and all that shit um, you know stuff like that and then it was just like that was kind of like a, a massive sigh of relief all of a sudden mm-hmm. because it was like yeah we got him and then um, what what was it that, 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 we, that... Were, we were just like we, when he said it, it might not be blood we were like fuck and then we were, I was, we were having a nap on the bed here. I was here, Carl was outside, Josh was there, we were all sleeping. My phone's ringing. I'm like, I can hear my sleep. I answered it and it's James going, Dad, Dad, I've got him. He came back, I've got him. And I was like, yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't have kids with your sister, folks. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that's what happened. And obviously, you know, he's thick enough to turn back in the van that yeah. he uses on YouTube, everything. We've got it all on. He turns right around and said, I invited him around for a cost of coffee. I yeah. put on my story, a video of him circling around my house on Friday the 13th at half past eight at night. I was like, oh, what was you looking for a cost of coffee there as well? Yeah. I was at Screen Fest. It's just mad that they actually put, like, I got invited around for a, for a cost of coffee next minute. Everyone's running after me with mobile phones. Like, he thinks he, that's going to get him off. Like, come on, how stupid can you be? Bro, you know I just mean? want to shake some IQ into the guy. Yeah. Like, slap him and maybe we'll trigger some kind of molecules and endorphins in his mind to release extra IQ. I don't know. But... It's like, bro, we ain't going for a fucking Costa, man. We're going for a fucking Frankfurt. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Jesus Christ. Do you not... Yeah, he's, you know what I mean? You've obviously watched the Instagram shit. You're watching it. That's how we, you knew that we was away on a fucking boat in the middle of nowhere. Do you know what I mean? So you knew. And it clearly says on the way to Germany. What the fuck? Do you know what I mean? Like, what, I got invited around for a coster, is it? What, what, you're going to get a boat out to us? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Fuck you now. But yeah. No, we've, we've literally got nothing done in Germany. We've, we've got off the boat, got to the hotel. Well, we found out on the boat that your car had been done. It was like midnight, weren't it? When yeah. we found out. And yeah. then, yeah, we've just been sleeping. Yeah, books into the hotel that we've already had books for, for, for a few days or whatever. <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, warm and behold, we got a phone call. But the way this thing is, it's like, we both kind of woke up just before the phone call was like, and then it happened. That's what, that's, that's divine inter- intervention right now, isn't it? That's some like weird, weird it's signs like, at the times. It's a five hour drive to, to the France port. And then an hour ferry, I'll be on. Should be on for about two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So 
so we shall be coming back unfortunately better luck next time but ayo maybe better luck next time when the police actually do something about him you know i mean they got they got a big enough case i can see scabby tabby dropping it down thank you so so much super super appreciated it's funny because danny's obviously watching this live right now in his in his van that he posted the cost of coffee story up in He's like, oh, I got invited round for Costa Coffee. And it just shows his dashboard and his van. And he's just like, you know, in some residential area, which is obviously down the road. Because he posted it within like, what, 15 minutes of being caught. It's just like, fuck, you know. But yeah, mate, you might as well just go home, hand yourself into the police. You know, you might as well just get it over and done with. And obviously plead your innocence like you usually do. I ain't done nothing. I ain't done nothing. And then go back to the live streams of, I'm going to do this and that. And then wait till they leave the country again and then start smashing windows or setting fires. Mm. Yeah. Hard man. Fucking hard man. Yeah. Well. It just, you, know, you, know, you, know, it does, you know what it does mid in the most? It's just like, you know, you got, you got people like me in the past, obviously, put, putting life on the line for the country, getting paid fucking peanuts, yeah? And then you got people like that who exist, who don't actually provide and sell drugs and they don't provide into the tax or any of that kind of shit. To, to provide for, you know, like homeless or whatever it may be. And it's just like, it makes you really question life and, you know, who's who's worth it in life and things like that. And it just does my fucking nutting shit bags like that exist. Like I said earlier, it's just like, you know, people who have, can't have kids, who are the nicest people you ever meet on the earth, you know what I mean? And they'll do anything for you, but you can't have kids. But you get people like that who have, a, have a kids like it's minor. Do you know what I mean? And they disappear. And they disappear, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just fucking nuts. Absolutely yeah, if you nuts. didn't know, that exploring Danny smashed the car. Dan Duffy, the one who's plastered all over um, every news agency in the UK and some in America. Sky News, he was on the front front cover of Sky News because he was tampering with with a Nicola Bully evidence, trying to look like the hero, like he'd found something, and uh, they figured him out pretty quick that he was a, a hoaxer. Yeah, and they arrested him and charged him with. How much did he get charged for that? Don't know, he got, he got charged with tampering evidence and something else. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't put the blame on me. Like, oh, it's fucking dark, that's the nonce. Yeah, well, it was, it was Dan because I seen him do a really good video and I thought I'd do the same. Wait, right, love. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's funny because I, I think he was in my live not so long ago when I was in Ireland and he's come, come in, the, the, the name is John Doe and he was like, give himself away because he's not the brightest spark in, in on the planet, uh, on the universe for that matter. And he was just like... I was, he said a few things like fucking all this crap and I was like, I know you are. I know who you are. Yeah, John Doe. Do you know what the funny thing is? He, um, when I was in Japan, he, was t he turned around on, on his, in on his uh, Instagram and he was like, yeah, Dan's trying to bait me out. He's put his car on his front drive to try and get me to do something while he's away. I'm like, what? what? I'm not my own car on my own driveway. You know what I mean? But that's, that shows that he was driving yeah, around my house. James, James, come on, he was driving around my isn't? house while I was in Japan as well. Fucking I've man. got so many people looking out for him now. He's going to get run off the road if he comes yeah. in here. Yeah, it's, it's fucking crazy shit. But the thing is, now, the funny thing is, because obviously, you know, your, your cameras, you've got like not, notification ones and you've got like hard, hard drive ones, which go back like fucking three to six months. Yeah. It'd be interesting to go through all the footage now and colour it all the times and capture him stalking. Well, mine's a six month. And then it reloads over itself. Yeah. So I'll have to start sifting through it all, see how many times he's, he's drove on and off that street. Do you know what the weirdest thing is? Like, it's like a main road, and then down the, the other road is a cul de sac, like a dead end. It's a dead end. And he pulled in on Friday the 13th, come in, pulled in, turned back round, drove off. And then he comes to smash my car up, did the same thing, pulled in a cul de sac, waited at the bottom, ran up, smashed my car, got in the car, drove off, drove off. Anyway, and today he's done the same thing in his van. Got caught on the way in, and then he has to he's had to drive up and get. And get as he drove up, first he's hitting the footwell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which he didn't want to be really seen on camera. Yeah, but yeah, there's Danny's baby and Felicity in in the van, um, probably showing off to Felicity going, yeah, 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 look what I did, look, yeah, just fucking put an hammer through some windows. Do you know what I mean? I don't understand why do you even pretend to be a fucking Salfordian you knobhead when you live in fucking Blackburn, you prick. Does. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I love <laughs> you Fucking honestly, do my head in. Do my fucking head went, went, He went with all them uh, rappers, didn't he? Oh, do you remember? And then he tried to boot him off set because he was a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and then he tried to make, uh, what was it, um, the, the grime videos 
Baby scissors, do you remember that one? Oh god, don't. Something, don't. something with baby scissors. Oh I mate, can't deal with it. Not, uh, I think he deleted all the videos, but he tried to do. Uh, what was it? Floating around somewhere. Miggle finger. Oh my god, don't, don't. It's the cringiest Fuck shit I've the ever seen. Yeah, Fuck the haters. Fuck the haters. Miggle finger. <laughs> Never forget. It's going that. to optical. <laughs> Fucking oh, mad. No, oh, don't. It's so bad. I just, I just wish he actually did something with his life. Like, he, he wouldn't do you know what? Not- He'd actually be a decent guy if he just sorted his fucking life out. He wonders why no one takes him seriously and like why, why people think he's a joke because he is the one what he does. Like he thinks he's a bad man doing a music video. No, but oh, in all seriousness, right? This is real talk, right? When when we're all together, when we were all together, me, you, Danny, and and Andrew and that, he was, sound, he was sick, wasn't it? He was such a nice guy. Like this is real talk. He was such a nice guy. We'd chill out, you know, he, he was always a laugh, he was always down for a laugh. He was, he was, you know, yeah, a little bit boisterous, but he was, he was all right. But he was just, he, he even told me, as he said, when I sit alone at night, I, I get angry and I, and I rage and he smashed up his play button, he smashed up his, all, all his stuff, all his doors are smashed. He smashed his, he smashed, he smashed fucking Felicity, but he, he turned around and he went, I punched her and knocked her to the ground, but she got up and she hit me, didn't you love? And she's like, yeah, I did love. It's like they, they batter each other, and it, but, but going back to that, he was a good guy. Like when we're with him, but it's like when when he's not involved, that's it. He's the worst guy on the planet. It's just I don't understand it. I don't understand it. We you know I mean, we had some good times together, and it's just he just turned to this, this stranger, this this odd guy, this really fucking strange guy. I mean, like we said, we've had we've had stalkers. I've had some crazy girlfriends as well stalking me down, doing weird shit. But this is like another level shit. Yeah, of course, he's doing wild camping and stuff. He copies everything <coughs> we do. I mean, we could we could do a, a video, you know, testing out toilets, and he he copied. Like, yeah, today, guys, I'm, I'm here testing these porcelain toilets. <laughs> <laughs> Shell does. Thank you so much for dropping down, supporting. Seriously, uh, sorry about your car. Honestly, I, I'm I'm sorry about the car. Like, I love my car to bits, and it's just like. You know what did the car do? This Jesus is this is what Christ. we needed though. This is Thank what you needs so to much. For, for the the rebellion to start, yeah. like he's gonna realize what it's like to be on the other side. Yeah, well, receiving end. Well, I mean, we've put it up for, for four years solid now. Four yeah. fucking years, and it's been like if it goes quiet, it only goes quiet for about a month, and he's back at it again because he sees us doing some shit. It's just absolutely mental, absolutely, absolutely mental, deluded, deranged. I don't know, delusional, fucking nuts. Do you know what I mean? But um. Yeah, it's just, I just don't understand it. I really don't understand it. But yeah, so, it's just bullshit. Yeah. It's just absolutely just carnage. I just don't understand it. I just don't understand that other police have just not, like, looked at this properly. Do you know what I mean? We've been fucking saying to him, listen, you need to sort this out. You know, it's, you look at it all, like, Manchester's got the worst write-up for in, in, in police fucking history in the but UK. Like, it's just good. See, yeah, I mean, well, obviously Manchester is a part of Lancashire, but it just seems to be like the West is better than the East. Yeah, no, the Lancashire, Lancashire <clears> and Stabiori are, are good. And like, they, they're, they've been, because of the amount of times I'm reporting, I've got a marker on my address. The fire brigade came around and put a, a block on my letterbox and fitted extra fire alarms because of Danny, because of the threats he made in the past. Yeah. Because of all this and the constant reports, the police, the police sergeant said to Molly that on the phone last night, how has this not been dealt with yet? Yeah. He went, do not worry, I will make it my, my yeah. priority to put him in a cell tonight. So just, yeah, go on and hand yourself in. It's just it's just madness because he's the type of guy to pour petrol through your letterbox or put it through your window. Now, funny, I, I don't know if you guys are from like Manchester area and stuff like that, or you would have heard about, actually one of my friends I used to go to school with, uh, Michelle Purse, her name was, um, she was reporting to the police for, for quite some time about how these 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 chaps were harassing her in, in the uh, the estate and stuff. And the police didn't take it serious. And the actual chaps uh, who are in jail now um, said they're going to gonna petrol bomb the house, but the, the, she reported it and reported it all night. They didn't do nothing. So what did they do? Threw a brick through a window, threw a petrol bomb through the window. The house went up in fire and all of her five kids um, died uh, pretty much. Uh, I think a couple of them survived for... Uh, a few they days later, died. They, she woke, they died. She woke up alive, knowing all the kids had died. Yeah, and then she ended. She died. And then she died in the end. Now I used to go to school school with this girl and her brother Matthew Pearson, and um, yeah, I can remember the the morning it happened because my mum came in from work and said something horrendous has happened at work. She's a, she's a, well, she's a retired nurse now, and she was like she was like high up, 
and she said something horrendous happened and she, and she, she said uh, Michelle Pierce and I was like no fucking way and then I had loads of people saying like have you heard heard about Michelle and I was like what the fuck is going on but yeah it's people like this who do stupid shit like that and causes just devastation further down the line but he is the type of guy to to do this shit he really is but um yeah it's, it's just it's worrying there's just no need for it like why in it why can't no one get on anymore like what is going on um Robert, thank you so much for dropping down. Super, super appreciate it. So, uh, sorry about the car. Honestly, sounds like a bit of a bit of a tit now. Honestly, it's more than a tit. We've been saying this for a while, and it's not just us saying it. People have realised, but he does have about ten fans who are just delusional. They're probably in the same same boat as he is. You know what I mean? Same mentality. You know, like for like law of attraction, all that shit. Um, and ground shit, you're going to smell like shit. <laughs> the list goes on. It's one of them ones. But thank you so much for the support. Honestly, super, super, super appreciated. Um, uh, Louise as well, thank you so, so much for dropping it down. Honestly, guys, the support from you is, is, is amazing. Thank you. Uh, Leon as well, East Coast Paranormal Crawler saying, I've always been here and, and so sorry, Carl. Cars don't do nothing wrong. Thank you so much. Yeah, they don't. I mean, like, fucking hell. It's like, kick a man when he's down. Yeah. It's just shit as well because I've just lost lost my uncle uh, a few days ago. He just just um, got rushed into hospital um, with with well, he collapsed in his shower and then um, so, uh, something happened with his heart or whatever. And then he went to surgery and died. You know, and I've just lost, lost my uncle. Um, I've lost friends uh, the past past few months and stuff from suicide and things like that. And it's just like you know, my head's fucked as well from from years of trauma and more recent traumas and I have this shit bag in, in, in the background like a fucking mosquito do you know what I mean you get bit and you're like what the fuck it's chronic it's absolutely chronic yeah someone just said then um, none, of, none of the other paranormal investigators do physical damage to other property Danny has mental problems you know we've had our fair share of problems with, with other paranormal people yeah um, but the, the thing is, is there's a difference between disliking someone and then going to the extent of damaging the property you know yeah. <clears throat> I'm a big, I'm a big believer and activist of freedom of speech. And if someone doesn't like me and they make a video about me, fair enough. That you are entitled to that. You know what I mean? I had um, those brothers. They were they were saying like a lot of negative things about me back back way back. But you know what? They have the right to do that because that's the that's the the, the beauty of freedom of speech. Yeah. You know that gives you the, the right to do that. But to go around damaging people's property now that's a whole different ball game. Yeah. You know, that's, that's where I draw the line. Well, it's just it. I mean, everyone has disagreements in life. Everyone can put a couple of posts up in there because, they, because they're agitated and upset, you know, and people are allowed, allowed emotions, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's just what it happens, tick to tack. But, you know, like you say, do you know what I mean? Going around and, and relentlessly destroying people's shit. I mean, he's, he, he, he's you know, if we could sit there and, and rack up the bill of what he owes us, it's, it's in fucking hell. He must have owed about... Tens of thousands. About, about, well, I mean, look at Andrew's car. Well, Andrew's car... What, 11 grand there and then not to mention obviously the repairs the tyres you know what I mean racking up my car fucking resprayed all that shit I mean the bill for that was fucking yeah. 5 grand I was going to say 900 quid on security cameras for me yeah do you know what I mean so we, we're, we're talking thousands mate you always you always bear debt mate trust but um, do you know what I mean if we had that money we'd be, we'd be out here fucking oh, filming bangers any, for any, any uh, you know willing debt collectors interested hit us up yeah hit us up you know we can always uh, could do with a few more bob to make some more bangers. <laughs> so, uh, Ross Hard, jo uh, joining Dark Arts TV. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So let me do that again. Ross Hard, thank you so much for joining the Dark Arts TV members. Enjoy exclusive badge credits on the videos and early video access, which which reminds me as well, it, we've been super busy. I've got video, we've both got videos dropping. Eight videos this month it's been. Um, but this is to members only. Um, there will be some some new members videos going up. It's just been a case of editing, getting out, getting. And obviously we have Germany coming in and stuff like that. It's just like, but I will be uh, keeping on top of it. But thank you so much, Ross. Super super appreciated. Um, and everyone is obviously donating, supporting, and existing members as well. If you continue to support, honestly, I fucking hate doing these these live streams of negativity. I just want to bring positive vibes all the time. Um, we've got J Mac dropping it down. Thank you so so much. Saying. Nothing, uh, nothing. A baseball bat to the uh, to the hands couldn't fix. Cheers from California. <laughs> Thank you I so like much. Your style. Yeah, <laughs> old school warriors. <laughs> That's what else reminds me of. I'm out to play. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, Robert dropping it down. Thank you so so much, man. Seriously. Uh, no worries. Head up, uh, pal. 
Push your content is always good. Watch. Thank you so much. Honestly, that's a massive donation. Seriously, it's just madness for the support. Seriously, thank you so, so much. But that, that's the problem about this, this game we're in. It's just like, we need the cars to film the videos. You know what I mean? And it's just like, shit like this happens. Like, I can't drive the fucking car now. Like, <laughs> we're just driving down the road. How, how many points is that? The thing, I mean, for a smashed window. The thing is, it's just like, like I've got a couple of people saying, why not sooner? It's like, you know, there's only so much someone can take. And, and we, we take a lot, we've taken a lot of shit over the years. And, and like Carl said, the last thing that we want to do is bring drama to you guys because you guys come here for an escape away from reality. You know, we bring, we take you away from day to day life. Yeah. And, and the, the drama aspect is the last thing. But the only times I've ever produced drama content on my channel is about Danny and the, the, the shit he's done. It literally is. Yeah. The only times. Yeah. It literally is, man. It's just, it's just madness. I don't understand. I do not understand. Is there any updates on uh, Instagram? I think, I think Danny might have deleted his uh, Instagram account as well. I think a few so, people might uh, have been saying. Honestly, uh, my Instagram is swamped. <laughs> uh, in the in the past hour alone, <laughs> I've had close to 400 messages. Yeah, madness. Absolutely mental. Honestly, support is just from you guys is always, always. And the, the story views are over 8,000 now. Shit. So it's getting out. It's getting out. It's about fucking time. You know, you can smash my car up all you want, mate. You know, items are replaceable, but it's about time that this just comes to an end now. I mean, last time last time we did this, he, he had a mental breakdown. He was apologising, wanted to be best friends again. And he was sat on a live stream, like, doing this, like, podcast thing. With two, they had, like, two chairs set up as if, like, you're watching fucking, what is it, um, Joe Rogan podcast. And he's like, yeah, well... You know, I suffer from mental issues and stuff like that. And it's just like, well, if, if he was actually suffering from mental issues, you wouldn't go around smashing. No, you're saying depression and stuff. Yeah, depression it's, and things like it's that. It's like when I did the live stream talking about my, my cancer scare and, and what Danny has been doing. He went live straight away and he's like, I just want to be friends with Dan. I, just want, I, I, I really like it. I appreciate what he's done, like what he said. I'm like, you know what I mean? He's constantly playing the, the victim. Yeah. And people need to see through that, that he's not a victim. He's a bully. Yeah. And he always has been a bully. Yeah. And it's about time that bully gets put in his place. Yep. <clears throat> Hence this, uh, obviously this live stream, all the Instagram <clears throat> posts and stuff like that. So it just needs, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Danny, you put us, put us, put yourself in our position. Like if we start coming around to your house now, I'm fucking <laughs> busting for your door, smashing your house up every weekend, setting your car on fire, you have to buy a new one, you just smash it up again. Do you know what I mean? You'd get fed up of it. You'd probably end up talking yourself or something like that. Do you know what I mean? That's just the way it is. I just think we've felt for all this time. Like fucking hell. Do you not remember when all that carnage was happening? You had, a, during, um, when, when Danny had blown Andrew's car up, you went into this fucking decline of oblivion. You didn't want to film. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? You just didn't want to want to do anything. You was just like, I don't want to film anymore. There was a lot of people. Was you was like, even considering just getting rid of YouTube altogether, innit? Yeah, well, there was, I stopped doing merch. I mean, if, if you followed me for a long time, you'd know I was, I was mad on merch. Every week, two weeks, there'd be a new merch shop. I didn't do merch for about nine, ten yeah, months. Yeah. And I went in... I actually took my car out one night. I never really told people this, but I, did, I took my car out one night and I was going to drive it into into the ravine at Rivington. Mad. Because I was just I was just done with it all. I'm just going to lie on the top and save it. Sorry, Josh. <laughs> Can we turn it off, bro? I like it. You got it. <laughs> I like it, as I like it, love. I like this. Uh, Scabby Tabby dropping it down again. Thank you so much. Saying you're always so real and kind, Carl. Love you. Well, I love you too. And thank, honestly, thank you so much for the support. Seriously, it's, it's hugely appreciated. It's really, it is. Uh, Gary Beeston dropping it down as well. Thank you so much. Saying, I uh, hope this can help. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you so much. The thing is, it's like, I, I want to keep up the amazing work. Do you know what I mean? We should be out filming fucking bangers in Germany and sausages right now, but we just ain't. We're in this hotel room waiting for the ferry to come back. And it's just like, all, all for this shit. All for this shit. Madness. Uh, Katie, thank you so much for dropping it down, saying, uh, don't let this scumbag bring you down. Uh, love to you. Thank you so much. Honestly, it's super appreciated. It's just, it's just bollocks. It really is bollocks. But we're going we're gonna to have to, we're going to have to return. You know, Dan's on about fucking have to move house now again, because, you know, that's the, that's what we've not covered. Because you recently moved house. You've not been in that house for like well, two moved, years. No, I moved house two years ago. I think Was it two years? Now. And the, the reason, obviously, I lived in a two-bedroom flat since 2008, and I was still in it up until a couple of years ago. 
because like I said, I've not changed. I'm still the same guy. I just outgrew the house. I had too much stuff, the, the flat. And I was like, you know what? It's about time I got a house. Not only for the re that reason, but also because uh, Danny was prowling around all the time. So I got a, I, I went and got a new house. And Danny didn't like the fact he didn't know where I lived. So he drove around for two days. He's told me this. He drove around for two days until he saw my, my car on, on the driveway and then marked my address. And then when I was when I wasn't speaking to him, he flooded my live stream with my address, kept posting my address in it. But I'm not ass, you know what I mean? I get fans knocking on my door anyway, you know. I, I always get pictures with him or whatever. But it's not as if the fans are driving around for two days trying to track you down, is it, John? Yeah, exactly. Man? Jesus Christ. It's like wasn't the other day in oh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We weren't getting yeah, stopped no. by fans, we were just bumping into the Literally, we got, we, got, we got spotted and had photos five times within an hour in Hull. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> For a random, isn't it? Jesus age. Uh, Dawn, thank you so much for dropping it down, saying keep your chin up, uh, mate. Wish it was more. Honestly, anything is, is su seriously appreciated. It's just annoying that I can't go for the insurance again because literally I just have to like write my car, just get rid of the car and, and just get an absolute shanker, which is just like not feasible for the channel and stuff like that. Like, I did have a smaller car before I upgraded, but you know, I did made it. It was trying to, it's the fact that I was trying to get all my camera equipment in my drone, um, my, my overnight um, hold alls, like going on trips and shit. And one time uh, what had happened was I was filming Dark Territory and in the morning when we woke up, I was like, right, let's get to the set, let's film. And it's like, right, I'm going to go do drone shots. Open my car door. Where was my drone? I didn't put it in. I actually left it outside of the car. Um, trying to fit stuff in my previous car and drove off without it. Like, fucking how stupid you can get. But yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm done with this car. I need I need a, uh, need a bigger car. So, uh, Kerry, thank you so much for dropping it down. Uh, Aussie Dollars, uh, keep up the awesome work. Stand tall and stay true. Thank you so much. I mean, that's that's all, that's all we want to do. You know what I mean? We just want to, we just want to get on and, and make videos for you guys to watch. That is, that's literally all we're doing. But obviously right now, it's just a case of, you know, maybe, maybe this is our way of venting and doing a live, but then again, it's probably making people aware about, you know, Dan Duffy, Exploring with Danny. Um, if you've just tuned in and seen the, the viewers go up a little bit, then, um, you know, you, it, it, this guy, you just can't work with him. There's no reckoning with him. You just, there's just no nothing with this guy. It's just, it's just unbelievable. Like the shit we've had to put with. It's just a fact he message, you know, Josh as well, but I'm, I'm thinking to try to get the message through. About about oh yeah nice car or some shit. I know it's all it's all on the Instagrams. Go check them out. Um, you'll see you'll see the full fucking story because I've I've pretty much dumped all all my shit. I mean you've got a fucking hard drive on this guy. I've got like ten gig or even more of footage, like phone calls I've had for him, secret recordings because I knew that I'd need him one day. He admitted he smashed up Moxley's car. Um, yeah, you know. It, threatening people yeah i i've got a foot a video footage of him on the phone threatening because you were live saying he's gonna send the boys around to your house yeah. i mean the boys the you boys. have no boys anymore because all your boys know what you do they all know that, you, that you're an animal killer and stuff it's like no one i'm surprised bobby still associates with him after all yeah. that but he's gonna lose so much credibility yeah. when everyone else finds out you know what i mean madness Fucking madness. Uh, big shout 696 in the chat, 415 likes, everyone smashed the like button. Big shout everyone supporting members and patrons as well. Super, super appreciate for the support. Kay Clinton dropping it down. Thank you so, so much for the support. Honestly, it's, it's greatly appreciated. I'm just, I'm just, I just want to shout out Dan's family right now as well for like, obviously, you know, what's going on. Um, they're going to they're gonna try sort sort the shout for when they, when they get back as well. And it's just fucking, oh, honestly, it's just, it's just a nightmare. It's just an absolute nightmare. It's just unnecessary stress. And it's just like, why in it? Fucking why? Madness. But is it going to end? Probably not. No, it will end. Trust me. I don't know, well, man. Trust me. I beg Believe to differ. me when I say it ends. It's, it's, it's going to it's gonna have to end because like we've been saying this for four years now. It's like one of us is end up end up dead. Either him or, or us. Shall I mean? It ends. Yeah, it's That's bad news. Saying. Uh, Gary Beeston, man, thank you so much for the huge donation. Seriously, Damn, Gary, shit. Holy crap. Honestly, that that help out massively. Seriously, thank you so much. Report my heart. Honestly, it's much appreciated. Uh, Gary Beeston says, uh, "Karma will get him soon." Do you think he had anything uh, to do with Random Antica person that was phone you lot? No, no, I think. Yeah, well, the the funny thing is, um, he actually sent the threats on 
Random Nautica 42, which is a, a spin off of the original Instagram profile, Random Nautica 42. He just wants to be someone, he wants to try and be irrelevant, that's what it is. Well, he actually made a, a spin off video of, of obviously the Random Nautica series, of him yeah. claiming to be Random Nautica 42. And he, I think he got like supposedly jumped or yeah. captured Random Nautica 42. And it's like, no, no, mate, you had, you had no involvement in the series. Uh, or any of that shit so it's just like why are you trying to you know what i mean like what are you doing like do you know what i mean it's just it's just madness i mean I, the funny thing is i blocked him years ago because i could i could see it see it my life because it started getting rocky didn't it yeah and it was what he used to do is unfollow follow unfollow unfollow uh, follow send you be all nice and shit be all weird with you block for just on and on and on and even on my instagram um it's funny i, I actually posted a video from when he actually tried to to recreate the top knot and, and bought glasses and he's like oh you know I, I, what did he what did he say now he's like i even got the glasses to match bro or something like that trying to replicate my hair and it's just like me i've been growing his hair since like fucking seven years you know what i mean my hair's like down to my nads almost do you know what i mean but it's just like things like that it's, it's very strange so i was like fuck this you know block so he got funny about that vandalized my car but that was that was months down the line later on and I've been saying to you guys, isn't it? And Andrea was like, "Fucking block him! Just once he blocks you, just, you block him. Just, just be done with it." And it's been it's been like ongoing for absolutely ages. And yeah, he, he sees us all. Have you noticed? It's, it's a pattern of say if you're with Andrew, something will happen. If Andrew's with me, something will happen. If I'm with Andrew, something will happen. If, if vice versa, if and if, and when we're all together, fuck he and Alston. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Do you know what I mean? It's like welcome to fucking World War Three, man. Do you know what I mean? Jesus, mad. Um, Big shout out Donna Cullen as well. Uh, Cullen dropping it down. Thank you so <clears throat> thank you so much. Man, my throat's dry as fuck. <coughs> Not to mention we've got a cough as well. <coughs> Josh is currently dying. He's been dying for days. But big shout out uh, Donna for the support. Honestly, thank you so, so much. Uh, we've got uh, two weirdos in the world. Thank you so, so much. Oh, Lou Max. Lou Max, thank you so, so much for the donation. Seriously. Uh, just a bit toward replacing the damage that uh, that sausage <laughs> That sausage did to your car. Thank you so oh, much. Oh my, because I miss you guys. Yeah, it'd be good to catch up soon. So, yeah, so. I had pizza, pizza night at my house. Soon. Yeah, you ate cheeseburger pizza. No, no, I was going to make pizza on the pizza stove. Shit. Well, mate, as long as it's got I'll make a pizza burger make sauce a on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, can, I can sauce them out. And get some gherkins on there, man. Seriously. That, that, that'll be the one right now, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, big shout out, everyone. Seriously, much appreciated. 705, it's just it's still growing. Man, how many people watch your Instagram story right now? Um, it was 8,000 last time. So, there's no getting away from this one, Danny. You've done it to yourself, man. You brought this to yourself. Madness. 8,346. Yeah, so it's bumped up a little bit. I mean, it's, it's, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, he's probably sat there watching this live now, freaking the fuck out. You know what I mean? Mad. I mean, why, innit? I just don't understand the mentality. Like, Smashing your car. The, I mean, the way he could have actually repaired this whole relationship... If there was any to be repaired, bear in mind he's already, you know, smashed cars up and set fires and shit like that. Like, the only way he could have repaired this is if he would have been like, just being genuine. That's what I said to him. Go I, back said, to... I said this ages ago. I was like, you've got to understand why people don't want to film you. It's because you, you, you blow hot and cold. It's like one minute you're fine, and then next minute <clears> you're fucking blowing up. I was like, you've got to remember, you know, everyone films with different people. If, you, if you're not out filming with everyone, doesn't mean you know everyone hates you. It doesn't mean you have to go and trash it's your like hands. Man. But it's, it's it's like a six year old mentality. It's madness. It's it's like me seeing Dan out with someone else. Bear in mind, we've been friends for for how many years now, and it's just like it's like me seeing someone out, uh, you know, Dan out with someone else, and I'm like, I'm gonna go and put you in this room. Just can't. Where's 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 my ballet love? Do you know what I mean? Just, it's true though, isn't it? Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's just like. Fuck it, you know, Josh is out with someone, I'm gonna fucking fly to America and detonate his house up as well. It's true what they say though, there's like that three year cap in it. Yeah, no, we've always If you can make it past three years of friendship without any issues, yeah. then you are gonna be set for life. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been like that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame that it's just not been like that with uh, you know, majority of people who have worked with in the past and stuff like that, you know. People, yeah, never people... Had, we've never had issues. I mean, I've had my first share of issues with Josh, and obviously the right dickhead sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that fucking prick, man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think me and Josh have ever had a disagreement. I don't either. think so. <laughs> oh, no. shit. Uh, Kelly Marsh, thank you so much for dropping it down. Keep your head held high, love. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Seriously, super, super appreciate <coughs> for the support. But, yeah, madness. Absolute madness. Comfy there, man. Um, 
uh, James, the Forgotten Past, said, you guys need to go out and enjoy yourselves, film some bangers and do exactly what you tried to you can do. Yeah, I know, I know, but I feel like I'm going to have more fun at home, trust me. <laughs> it's just a shame, man. Like, I've never been to Germany before. I've actually got relatives in Germany who I've never met. Do you know what I mean? Like, my grandma fled Germany in, in the war and shit, and it's just like, what, match you here? And like, my ancestral wand of Frankfurt and sausages. It's just like, what, the only thing I've seen so far is a motorway in a hotel. No, Josh isn't uh, hungover, he's just, he's, he's slightly ill. He's yeah. recovering, he's on Lemsip. <laughs> High on Lemsip. High on Lemsip. I'm fucking Benadryl. We've got that Benadryl a bit. Yeah, he's surviving out here, so it's rough, you know. It's rough. It's rough. <laughs> Oh shit. No, everyone's saying it's Josh Rutt. You must sound like really rough, Josh. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't I feel sleep. rough. He didn't even sleep on the boat properly either. He's like, I'm going to knock out all night. We, we had an all-you-can-eat dinner on the boat and we were all going to knock out. But obviously with what happened, everyone was just on high alert. Yeah, so no, I went there, well, eyes wide wow. open, and then I just remember waking up in the morning. Do you know what I mean? S sleep with your shoes on kind of tackle. Yeah. One eye open job on the boat. Wow. Well, that's what I do. That's what I do at mine. Sometimes I sleep in the car. <laughs> is that? Oh, I thought it was comes up in the taxi. Oh. Yeah, no. When you know when I've had. Yeah, yeah. Time. I thought it was literally going to say that's what I do sometimes. Is what's that? When you have problems with sleeping with shoes on. No, it's a saying, isn't it? Get like yeah, to no. be ready, isn't it? No, I sleep, <laughs> like lie down in the car in the front seat and just wait. Yeah. Fuck you now. Madness. I must have a coffee boy. Shit. Oh, damn, where do you get that from? What's up, my um, Shit, we, my, my bag so of supplies? We know, we know, suppl we know like good drink supplies. You know, I feel like I need a nice glass, uh, glass bottle of coke or you know, a nice fancy lemon or yeah, I want mine a rum and coke right now. No, I can't be drinking. Oh, I don't know, man. I want mine a rum and coke. No, I'm still, I'm still affected from my uh, birthday live stream. Honestly, bro, oh, when you're thrown up everywhere, yeah, no, nah, really <laughs> no, I'm still like scarred for life now from that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Madness. Yeah, where's the live shot gone? There we go. See it, see it again now. But yeah, but is, has anyone got any? I'm sure loads of people got bare evidence of like random yeah. shit. I mean, every time someone would comment on his YouTube channel, like for example, for example, when you turn around calling him fake, no. but yeah, he's got his messes were running around in the fucking nun outfit. Did, didn't he kick off with you at one point, Josh? Yeah. Or, or, so, so sending you a message saying he's going to kill him or something. Yeah, because me and Josh sat down in the video and just said, we're, like covering covering our backs, we said like, you know, Danny makes really good, interesting entertainment videos. You know, but well, obviously with this video, everything is legit. And he took it all the wrong way. He was like, thought we were attacking his channel. I'm like, well, surely people know that your videos are fake. You know, you've got your missus running around in an un outfit and your backs out. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not exactly you know a ghost. Fucking mad. Just stressful, man. Just stressful. I feel like all air with chest pain. It's it's a Netflix documentary waiting to happen. I've always said that about Danny. Yeah. Once once, once that baby, some happens that baby, it's a Netflix documentary. Yeah, waiting to happen. isn't it? Yeah. We'll be getting fucking interviewed. Yeah. Well, going back in two thousand one, well, you know, we used to have a good time. <laughs> and it's a backstory about your life in general. It's and like it, still and it's accused, five series in. He still accuses me of deleting his footage on purpose. Yeah, do you he? remember that? So what happened was his video was his, his camera was cropped in, like he, he wasn't using his full frame. It was cropped in, zoomed in. So me and Matthew Williams stood there trying to fix it for him, and accidentally, uh, we formatted his memory card. But as it as it we pressed format, as we pressed the buttons, I was just we were pressing buttons like trying to get through all menus. It came up formatting and the bar was just like looked like it was like five percent pulled the card out anyway it cut to the card and instead of being like a normal guy and trying to recover it which he could which he can do we have a, we recover it he uh, he started saying that, i did it on purpose i was like come on danny we'll go around with, i'll come around with you and we'll film the whole place again yeah. just me and you yeah. and i'll put my camera down i'll help you film i'll even hold your camera and film <laughs> it for you no 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 i don't want to film anymore i don't want to do it and yeah. then he, he said i did it on purpose like proper proper random fucking madness uh, Kerry dropping it again, down again. Thank you so much. Uh, saying, don't even talk or stress about him. Uh, you're both better and stronger than that. Thank you so much. Honestly, super, super appreciate it for your support. Um, Thrill saying, um, are, you, are you both in base motel, guys? <laughs> base motel. Fuck you know. I don't know whether we are right now. Oh no, I just got off the boat. Fresh off the boat. <laughs> Shit, my knee. But yeah, I'm sure there's loads of stuff like. We've obviously 
him harassing people when you say it's fake when clearly his channel's fake. It's like his subscribers, fucking hell. I was watching him um, buy his subscribers on this analytic database um, thing thing I use and you could see when he's buying his subscribers and he had the nerve to turn around. I think the last kick off what happened was he was live on his channel calling me out and saying, saying he hates me and the next minute he was like, no, no, but you know, we love his videos. And then I obviously appeared in his live and I was like, mate, what the fuck are you talking about? Um, but yeah, there's just loads of mad shit he's done. Just fucking hell. Just like sending threats because he said it's fake. Fucking hell. I get people saying it's fake and shit all day, do you know what I mean? But I'm not replying back saying I'm going to burn your car out or smash your car up or do this and that. It's just, it's just absolutely nuts. I've just never known anything like it in my life. I really haven't. I've had feuds in the past. You know, I was a little shit when I was young. You know, cars getting damaged and tick for tack and all that shit when I was a little knobhead. But, um, you know, things have changed. How old, is he older than us? Um, I think he's the same age. I think he's like 30, I think he's 36, 37. Fucking and plus he's like 41, 42. And, they, and they're driving around with, with kids in the car, smashing cars up. <coughs> it's just, yeah, I don't even know if it amazes me. Scares me or what? I don't know. I, all I know is I just feel really bad for for the child and stuff. It's, yeah, it's just fucking shocking. That's the worst thing. You've ever yeah, done. Jesus Christ. Do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd love a kid, but you know, not, <laughs> not yet, anytime soon. Do you know what I mean? But it's just, it's just fucking waste of space. You can have kids like it's fucking nothing, man. Madness. Absolute madness. What time are we on? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. So it's six o'clock in the UK. Seven o'clock. Brat first time. Yeah. I wish. I want to go and get some sausage. Oh, I wonder if there's anyone can get sausage. <laughs> Got some sausage, Josh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, girl. Shit. Madness. I don't know. Have we, got, have we covered everything? Uh, I think so. Um, no doubt we'll probably have another live stream popping up either later tonight or tomorrow. There'll yeah. probably be some, be some developments. Yeah, no doubt there'll be some developments. I, I, just, I just don't think that, you know, it'll go back to his house and the police will arrest him. Or if someone sees him about, remember, if you do see, see him about, check out the Instagram um, posts and stuff. You'll see his red plate if you are from Blackburn, Blackburn Darwin Way. Um, if you do see his van, it's got it's got a roof rack and ladders at the back, a grey van with silver foil um, thermal sheeting on the back window. Um, what's his red plate again? I can't remember. Was it like? I've got it, it's all, it's all on Instagram anyway. Sorry. But if you do see it about in there, make sure to say hello. This play is KY06AEZ. What what kind of van is Alpha it? Alpha Echo Zulu. What? Say it again, sorry, I'm going to fucking book it. Uh, it's a... No, what's the one we are? I think it's a... Fuck it, no, so what the fuck is that? I think it's a box or something. Yeah, so if you see him about, then uh, say hello. And then the, uh, the, old, the old bill as well. Yeah, it's a box or... Should we show a picture, actually? Yeah. So if you see that one, floating round. Let's grab it. And then there's this one. He's got like a he's got a ladder on the back. He's got roof racks on it. So these are pictures of him actually driving out the Yeah, uh, that's off my street. Yeah, he's got a panel missing on the side thing each side of the car. Yeah. That's how we, we pinned it was him Friday the 13th, because obviously the roof rack, but well, yeah, there could be another silver box or van with a roof rack knocking around. Yeah. But because the panel's missing on the driver's door. That's what the police said. They, they said, right, okay, with that, we know it's him. Yeah. <clears throat> Madness. Uh, Clive, thank you so much for joining the Dakers TV membership. Uh, enjoy exclusive badge next to your name. Credits in the videos and early video access. Honestly, it's super, <coughs> super appreciated. Uh, Mike Red Will says, keep up the good work, lads. Thank you so, so much. Honestly, super, super appreciated. But um, yeah, I think we're going to wrap this live stream up here. But I just want to shout everyone who's, who's donated. Honestly, it's, it's going to a good cause. Get my car back in shape. And obviously, Hopefully, you know, more crazy videos. And hopefully, Germany, man. We'll have to 
revisit Germany on another time. It's just too bad shit bags like that. Have to go and ruin ruin things. But hey on. But yeah, big shout out to everyone. 733 people. We'll keep you posted. Head on to Instagram either mine or Dan's. Um and you'll see the full update uh, of obviously what's going on. But we'll definitely keep you posted because I think a lot of people need to know. And obviously a lot of people are gonna want to know because they never got down to the bottom of my last live stream. Um a couple of years ago when I ended the live stream because he was threatened to go around to Dan's house and set his, set, set his cars on fire because I was about to out him. So, um, yeah, madness. Absolutely fucking madness. But, yeah, big shout out, everyone. Obviously, much love to you guys. Uh, I want to say anything before I wrap this shit up. No, I think we've said everything. And hand yourself in, Danny. You might as well. There's just no point in... You might as well just admit to it that the charge is going to be a lot more... A lot more lower than than pleading innocence innocence at all. Seriously. Too much evidence now, boys. Yeah, it's fucking hell, man. <laughs> fucking hell, right? Do you know what I mean? I'm just so glad he turned up today. I know. I was, I was just that was like the final fucking piece in the puzzle, man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Smoking Caught red-handed. What a knobhead. Uh, <laughs> Josh, you got to say out. You got to say mud off fuck out, man. <laughs> He's too tired. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bester, thank you so much, honestly, for dropping it down. Super, super appreciate it for the donation. Uh, it's been a, it's been a shite week for you, Carl. Go grab yourself uh, and the lads um, a curry a currywurst. Mm. Yo, what is this? Yeah, we gotta get one. A currywurst. What's that? I'm right. I had one before. Right here. All right. Okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> we can, I suppose we can stop at like a service station or something. Yeah. yeah. They have them at stands outside. Really? Shit. Sure. All right. Currywurst is on the. Uh, I want one Mr. Best of tonight, thank you so much, man. Uh, a nice, a nice Bavarian beer tonight, and have a chill. Thank you so much, man. Honestly, super, super appreciated. Uh, Kerry McPhee as well. Thank you so much for joining the Dark Arts TV membership. Enjoy exclusive by the next day name, name and the credits, and early access to the video. So yeah, thank you so much, and uh, peace and love and light wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much. Um, big shout from me and the guys to you lot, and uh, love you all. We shall see you soon, and like I said, keep an eye on the Instagram. And then we'll keep you updated. But um, peace out, guys. Love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.